كن سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى The Messenger والسلام, even his own family calls him Rasulullah. They don't call him by his name. His uncle doesn't call him by his name. His best friend doesn't call him by his name. Everybody around him calls him by the title Rasulullah, part of respect for the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But these Bedouins, they come out and they say, Ya Muhammad, ukhruj alayna. Muhammad, come out, we have to talk to you. And this was something very offensive to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So even though this was something wrong, Allah first gave an excuse to them, أَكْثَرُهُمْ لَا يَعْقِلُونَ Most of them don't understand. And now from their background, you don't know why don't they understand? Because they're not in the company of the Prophet much. They're not in the company of the Sahaba much. They're not trained. They're not educated the way that the other Muslims are educated. So you can't expect from them the higher etiquette, the higher mannerisms that are expected from Abu Bakr Siddiq, that are expected from Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu. People like that, you know. You can't expect the same thing from them. But then again, Allah decides to educate them. وَلَوْ أَنَّهُمْ صَبَرُوا حَتَّى تَخْرُجَ إِلَيْهِمْ لَكَانَ خَيْرًا لَهُمْ Had they only been patient until you came out to talk to them, it would have been better for them. They shouldn't have been so impatient and start yelling and screaming outside the apartment of the Prophet ﷺ. But I wanted to give you this little bit of a background to let you know that there are different categories of Muslims even at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. And this does not have to do necessarily with their level of Iman or their level of you know, goodness or they're better or worse. It actually has to do with the amount they got exposed. They didn't get to spend nearly as much time with the Prophet ﷺ or with the company around them. But they're nonetheless Muslims. The thing though is, because they know so little, and they're so less exposed, they're not part of this community that's constantly developing and growing. They're learning more about their religion. They're getting stronger in their understanding. You know, they're getting stronger as a community. You know, they're not part of that. So what happens to them over time is that whatever little they have, they become happy with it. And this is dangerous. When you have a little bit and you're happy with it. So this is actually the problem highlighted in the ayah that I wanted to talk to you about. قَالَتِ الْأَعْرَابُ آمَنَا The Bedouins, they just come out and they just said, we have Iman, we've believed. We've accepted, it. they didn't just say we're Muslims, they say we have Iman. Now the Muslims who are with the company of the Prophet ﷺ, they understand that actually saying that we believe comes with a lot of responsibility. When somebody says that I've accepted Iman, I've, ex I've believed, then that actually meant I've changed my entire life. The way I sleep, the way I wake up, the way I eat, the way I drink, the way I talk, what's the most important thing in my life, what's the goal in my life anyway. All of the things that, I, that have to do with my life have changed because of one thing, because I've believed. It's not a small thing to say. But for these Bedouins, it was just, okay, well, there's one God and this man is his messenger and we believe in these, these words that come to him, they're called the Quran. So, okay, fine, I accept. It was a simple thing for them. It wasn't a complicated thing. It doesn't require that they transform themselves completely. Nothing, you know. So Jesus said, Amanna, we've accepted Iman, fine. But Allah Azza wa Jal corrects them and says, Qul lam tu'minu. Tell them. The Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam has to go out of his way and tell them. Lam tu'minu. You have not believed. Walakin qulu aslamna. But say that we have accepted Islam. You've only, and by the way, saying that we've accepted Islam or we've submitted actually means we've only taken the first step. Iman is a more mature step. Islam is just your first step. And you'll notice in the Quran, Amanna, Amanna is something praised. Generally, when people say we've come to believe, you know, this is actually something good. But in the case of these people, you have to understand where they're coming from. They're overconfident that they can hold on to their Islam that their Iman is already perfect, they know what they need to know, I don't need to understand anymore, I don't need to dig any deeper, I don't need to transform anything inside of myself. This overconfidence is problematic.
جيدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سواه